We're here at Independent Forensics in Lombard, where they do DNA testing for paternity tests, but they also do testing to help law enforcement in criminal cases, and they also do DNA testing for civil cases. We were talking to expert Dr. Carl Reich about the Golden State Killer case, and he was explaining to us, this is probably how law enforcement was led to their suspect. They took a DNA sample from the crime scene, and then they ran it through genealogy sites, databases, the kind of databases that are held by Ancestry.com and 23andMe, both of those organizations said they did not help with the investigation. But they ran it through some site like that in their database, which gave them family connections, possibilities to who that suspect might be. When they narrowed that down, they were probably able to figure out one or two possible suspects in the case. And so what the experts say is likely what they did is when they had those names, they got a discarded DNA sample, maybe from the trash can, a straw, a pop soda pop can that was thrown out. And they used those DNA tests to compare it directly to the DNA that was collected at the crime scene. Now they did that twice to make sure that they had the right person. And he says, theoretically, that is how they likely were led to D'Angelo.